I learned that I had Renaud's disease just informally when I was working one day with a colleague who was a surgeon and he noticed my hands were turning white in a meeting that they were super cold at touch when I shook his hand to start the meeting and it was really interesting because you know all my life I never knew what it was and so for someone to help me understand I had Renaud's disease was really um, life-changing for me. Raynaud's phenomenon is a condition that affects the blood vessels going to the fingers, sometimes the toes, that causes the blood vessels to constrict or shrink so that the fingers don't get enough blood supply. This leads to pain and discoloration of your fingertips. It's profound. I mean, your hands are be a, f a very cold white. They can turn colors. There's no pink to it. They're numb. They're, it's very painful if you um, don't manage it. Our oldest plays football um, at the college level and our youngest always was in lacrosse and we had to go to cold locations or a cold, you know, a cold snap was coming through. Even in San Antonio, I had to be prepared. So I had my warm gear and a, and a bucket that I would pack in the car and make sure that I could get through a football game. Ways to treat this are targeted at relaxing those blood vessels so that enough blood flow goes into the fingers so that you don't have those painful symptoms. And they can include things like calcium channel blockers, which is a type of blood pressure medication which relaxes the blood vessels. Um, and they can include more dramatic things like surgery. A less invasive way is to use something like Botox, which is a medication that relaxes the muscles that causes blood vessels to shrink. The Botox relaxes those blood vessels so that enough blood can get to the fingertips and they can live more pain-free lives. So once I started Botox, my life changed. My hands weren't cold during the day at work or on any outings or if I was in a restaurant and it was a cold um, room, my hands changed. It is going to be serial injections, especially every year when it gets cold, um, to prevent the symptoms. Being in the medical field, I knew that I needed to see a specialist and I have seen people with damage done when you're not seeing a specialist and so it's really important to see a hand surgeon. I was fortunate to be at Baylor College of Medicine in the Department of Surgery and met a plastic surgery hand surgeon who knew how to do this treatment and he introduced me to this Botox injection for Renaud's disease and that changed my life and um, that is why I've stayed within the um, Baylor College of Medicine Division of Plastic Surgery just so I can make sure I see a specialist within this training. I don't have any pain, I don't have numbness, I don't have any white, purple, there's no issues in my hands since I started Botox injections.